G'day guys, Sammy Hitsky here, down in northern New South Wales this morning, having a bit of a spin for Taylor. Um, sun's come up, fish are going off the chew. Just wanted to run through a bit of the gear we've been using lately, just so you can get an idea of how you can set yourself up for the, the Taylor season. So when I'm spinning for Taylor, I like to have three combos at my disposal. I've got my heavy Taylor rod, and that's this one here. It's a Pen Prevail, 8 to 12 kilo, and an 8,000 Saragossa. Now this is my rod that I like to cast big lures, big poppers, around the 85, 70, 70 to 85 gram mark and use it to lift the fish up the rocks. So there's no good having a, a rod that can cast a big lure and hook a big fish if you can't land it. So that's what this one's for. My next combo is a Diver Crossfire Surf. That's 12 foot, 7 to 15 kilos, matched with a 6,000 twin power. Now I use this for casting a bit slightly small uh, lure, about the 60 gram mark, and getting them out past the breaks and a long way. It's not such a great lifting rod, but I can still use it to manoeuvre rocks and wash fish up if I need. Now my lighter combo is the Daiwa Marethan. Now this is a 10 foot 6, it's quite light, and it's matched with a uh, Stratic 5000. This is my beach rod. It's not great off the rocks, can't lift a fish with it, but it can cast a 45 gram slug a very long way. So when they're feeding on smaller baits, this is the rod I go to. Now in terms of lures, I like to take a bit of selection out with us. There's no good getting out there and not having the right tool for the job. So I like to take a mixture of everything. I'll run the camera across here as I'm talking, but I like to take a mixture of slugs, hard bodies and also plastics and poppers. So I've got small slugs, slightly step up, a lot, lot heavier, and then also diving minnows, heavy plastics to get down in the wash, and stick baits so that I can work in any depth of water across the surface or twitch it nice and, nice and slow. I've also got my leader, a pair of pliers, and a knife, and that's just for, for killing fish and bleeding them if I'm gonna take home a feed. Um, and then I keep all that in my wading bag. It's nice and light. I can just pick it up and walk up. I don't have a big backpack or anything like that. I just like to stay nice and mobile. Now, as far as safety gear is concerned, I've got my rock cleats. Now, no rock fisherman should be without a set of these. These are what connect you to the rocks. You'll see it's got little metal tags sticking out of the sole there. That cuts through the black slime, which is incredibly slippery. Um, I've been washed off my feet a few times by, by bigger waves, and uh, since purchasing these, I haven't come unstuck. So definitely get yourself a set of these. Now this isn't essential, but it's a nice to have, a rain jacket. Now, I don't know if you know, but Taylor bite in winter, and it's damn cold in the morning. I like to stay as dry as possible, so rain jacket keeps you dry for a bit longer. Sooner or later you cop a wave up the jacket, but it's good to have, and it's nice in the morning. Righto guys, it's time for me to smash some brekkie, but get out there and have a crack this winter.